Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a morning routine, my productive 5 a.m. morning routine. Definitely make sure to follow my other socials, Instagram and TikTok, if you want to see more content like this. So every morning I'm greeted by my dog Zoe. Here she is. She's so cute. She obviously has to go outside. So she comes and she wakes me up so gently. It's so sweet. So obviously I take her out first. And then once I get back upstairs, I have to open all of the blinds. This is my favorite thing about this loft. I have a corner unit and they just let in so much light and I just love opening the windows and letting the fresh light in in the morning. go for a coffee and some water I don't know about you guys but I need caffeine to start the day so I always make myself a latte and get a little bit of water too for a little hydration As you guys can see, I'm making a oat milk latte with my favorite sugar-free chai powder. I'll be sure to link it. It's from Amazon. It's really good. And I'm also getting some ice water. That way I can take all my vitamins. You guys, I've never been like so strict with vitamins as I am now. I have been loving the results. These are like hair and nail vitamins. Also some hormonal balancing vitamins as well. I can do a whole separate video on that, but I take my vitamins very seriously and I've been seeing the results. So I make sure I do that. And then for breakfast, I just made some easy avocado toast. Pretty self-explanatory, just some avocado spread with an over easy egg. I like lots of feta cheese and my favorite bread, you guys, from Whole Foods. It's called tartine bread. It is so good. So yeah, just a little breakfast to get the day started. I'm just gonna throw on some SPF after I cleansed and moisturized my face. I always put on SPF on my face and my hands, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my gym fit, and we're gonna get a quick tidy in. I always make sure to clean the apartment, um, either in the morning or at night, sometimes both. Honestly, I'm always cleaning, it feels like. So here, I'm just emptying the dishwasher from the night before. I'm gonna put away all my dishes and water my plants, and just do a quick tidy around the apartment. I'm done tidying the apartment I always turn on my Ecovax hands-free smart vacuum as the last step in my apartment you guys this is my favorite new cleaning product I'm so obsessed with it my dog sheds a ton so I have to do some sort of sweeping or vacuuming every single day so I really wanted to get my hands on some sort of smart vacuum it just makes my life so much easier and it can do it for me basically it's completely hands-free this is the Ecovax Dbot T T10 Omni. As you can see, it has turbo dual spinning mops plus strong suction power to enable deep cleaning on multi surfaces. And most importantly, it's completely hands free. This literally vacuums and mops at the same time. It has features such as auto clean, auto empty, and auto hot air drying. It also has a voice control feature where you can use your voice to fully control the Dbot and tell it to clean or go back to the dock and many more features. Okay, Eco. Auto clean. So it self mops, it auto empties it up to 60 days. If you guys have pets like myself or you're just looking to upgrade your cleaning experience, I definitely recommend checking out the Ecovax Smart Vacuum. The link will be in the description box for you guys where you can check out a special discount code so you can get some money off of your Ecovax vacuum.
finally my favorite part of my morning routine. I don't do this every morning, obviously, but once a week I love to venture out to the flower market. It is just a few blocks away from my apartment. So I go there and I get some fresh flowers. As you can see, it's literally rows on rows of flowers. I'm so lucky to be so close to this place. It's so beautiful and fun and I take Zoe with me. She loves it. And literally you get such a good deal. You can get like two dozen roses for $18. Like it's amazing. It's flowers in bulk. So I love it here. Once I get home, I like to put the flowers straight into their vases. I have been taking up botany and floral arrangements and all of that. If you've been watching my channel, you will already know that I am just obsessed with flowers and it's just become such a fun hobby for me. I feel like it's definitely a part of design, kind of putting together these flower bouquets every week and it's uh, definitely been a little bit of a learning process. So it's been really fun and I love the way that they just make the apartment look so fresh and beautiful as you can see. Now it's finally time to head to the gym. This is my gym and I love it here. It's got a ton of really good equipment that I never had access to before, so I've definitely been seeing the results. I always do some weight training and cardio and call it a day. And then I'm gonna head home. After my gym workout, I head home and jump in the shower, wash my hair really fast, and then I will get ready for the day. Today I decided I was going to take some photos and get some content for Instagram, stuff like that, so I needed to actually do a full get ready with me session. Usually I don't put makeup on every day, but when I need content, I do. So I'm just using my favorite acne cleanser to cleanse my skin, and then I'm going to go ahead and double mask. I'm using a clay mask in the spots that are either clogged, like my pores are clogged, or I have acne spots. Um, this clay mask just dries it right up. It's from the brand Bondi Sands, and I really like it. Then I'm using another mask that's gonna be a little bit more hydrating in the spots that are really dry, like my cheeks, forehead, and basically kind of the middle zone, I guess. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash that off once it dries, and I love the way the clay mask just dries up all of my acne spots. It's the best. Then I'm taking some hyaluronic acid, also by the brand Bondi Sands, just to moisturize my skin. My skin is so dry um, in the colder months, so I need extra hydration. Then I'm also putting it on my the back of my hands too. This is something I always do with no matter what product I'm using. I always drag it down to my neck and decollete and my hands if I remember. It's just so important your hands age as well. So here you can see I'm putting SPF on my hands. I always try to do the same thing I do to my face to the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair. I have no exciting or fun products to show you here, just some heat protectant by Moroccan oil I probably spray on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry, flat iron, and curl my hair like normal. Side note though, can we have a moment for how early my natural hair is getting? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I just let my hair air dry after the shower and my hair's getting really curly again. I used to get really strong keratin treatments that would make my hair like pin straight and I haven't gotten one in like three or four years since I left New York. Uh, so my hair is getting really curly again, which has its ups and downs. It's really thick, so it takes a lot longer to blow dry. Um, and it's a lot frizzier in the gym, so that kind of sucks, but it's also really pretty and curly as well when I want to have curls. So, you know, double-edged sword, but just thought that was interesting for all the girlies that want to know what my natural hair looks like.
you guys might want to see my quick makeup routine. This is the makeup I've been doing every single day for the last probably like six months. So I'm just putting on some of my favorite foundation, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. And then I'm also going to put on the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just a little bit and then blend it all out with a beauty blender. And then I'm setting that with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Setting Powder, which just makes your skin look so smooth and soft and airbrushed, truly. Then I'm gonna go in with the NARS Blush and Bronzer Duo. This is Orgasm and Laguna. A little light for my skin, I'll be honest, but it does the trick. And then I'm just putting on some purple eyeliner. I love like purple or blue in the waterline. It just brings out brown eyes. And then I'm using my favorite liner. I'm like a Charlotte Tilbury girl these days and I just love her stuff. Um, I'm using her liner in, I think it's called Brown Spice or something like that. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But it's my favorite brown liner. This is the lip combo I've had on in every video for the last like six months and I love it. This is Dior's lip balm. Um, just the pink one. I like the Dior lip oil actually better, but mine was in the other bathroom and I didn't feel like going to get it. So I just used the lip balm today and I still like that as well. Now I'm just putting on some mascara and that is my everyday makeup routine. It's super easy and fast. It's not a full beat, but it's like a half glam and it does the trick for me. So yeah, now I think I just took some photos for the rest of the day and by this time it's well past the morning it's like noon so i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video let me know your thoughts down in the comments be sure to subscribe if you have not already and check out ecovax down in the description box and i will talk to you guys next time bye